Hey YouTube, Love and Light, the Empress is in the building and welcome to the Empire. I want to thank you for stopping by and supporting my channel. I am going to be doing a love reading for the sign of Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are not an Aquarius and you're watching this video, there is a message here for you. Everyone is welcome here. Um, this is a collective read, so it may not resonate for everyone. So please just take what resonates and leave the rest for whoever needs this. It's if, if this does resonate for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe and to join our spiritual tribe and to help the channel grow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and clear the energy off the space, and we're going to go ahead and get started. So how y'all doing, Aquarius? This is y'all second reading for this week. I hope y'all enjoy how I separated everything. Um, don't forget to give me a shout out in the comments to let me know how y'all feel about the new format. I really appreciate y'all so much. Aquarius, y'all never, y'all never disappoint. I swear. I love y'all so much. <laughs> y'all have consistently been one of my highest viewers. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all so much. That flame is kind of high. That's probably why I be running out of my fluid so fast in my lighters, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to turn the flame down. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, and guys, I ask that you protect me while I go into the white light of the tarot. Give me clear and honest messages for my Aquarians today. Anything that is of you, light and love, anything that is not of you, I ask that you return to center tenfold. I ask that you protect my Aquarians as they receive these messages. Thank you, Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. Let's see what's going on. What y'all got going on in love? Aquarius, oh, somebody's obsessed with y'all. Look here, look at, look at, here go cook it. Let's see, let's see what come out in the messages for love. This is strictly love, y'all. We're gonna do some love. Somebody ready to take a risk. Somebody ready to take a risk. Risky, risky. What kind of risk? I want to know. In divine timing, spirit said, in divine timing. Let's see what's going on. Let's get some let's get some love messages out here. I've been dying to use these cards, y'all. I I use them sometimes, but not a lot. So, ooh, somebody is having to make some choices in love. Somebody ready to walk through the door trying to make a, a, the right choice. So, mm, they trying to make a choice so they don't have no regrets. Mm, so somebody um uh, this could be a situation ship or uh, I don't know. Somebody could be, uh, ooh, they feel like you they perfect match though, Aquarius. They feel like you the perfect match for them. Mm, hmm. They, they passion burning hot for you. They don't, they don't know, but, um, somebody, uh, somebody could be non-committal. I don't know what's going on, but they feel like you they perfect match. So, uh, this could, uh. This person say they lost themselves for a while. They let their pride and ego get in the in the way of this connection. So, um, ooh, look, it's so it's so many cards jumping out. This person want to talk. So this could have been a, a connection that was like strictly strictly sexual. Uh, they feel like they under a lot of pressure uh, to make a decision about this connection. So what's going on here? What y'all got going on? Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> So, I don't know. Y'all might not be in communication not right now. So, I feel like y'all in separation from this person. Hmm. Hmm. So, y'all could have gotten into an argument or something um, to, to, about something. What y'all, ooh, this person want a, uh, a new beginning with y'all. But I feel like this person just kind of want to take it slow. But I feel like y'all might have gotten into an argument or a fight about something. But this person wants you to forgive them. Um... This person did something. They want you to let go of the past. Hmm. Yeah, because this is new beginning. Let go of the past. They want you to forgive them about something. Hmm. They they feel like they are under a lot of pressure about something. What's going on? So, I don't know. Maybe you gave them an ultimatum about something. But they, they got a lot of passion for you, Aquarius. Mm. They can't stop thinking about you. They trying to figure it out. So I don't know if it's just a guy something to do with a third party or what. Let's see. Let's see. We're gonna find out. Oh, they longing for you. <laughs> well, so I feel like this has been a real rocky beginning for some of you. Uh 
And maybe this person could have been attached to somebody because it say something about setting themselves free from something. Huh. Let's see what's going on. Definitely. So maybe they had a choice between you and somebody. So, mm -hmm. so maybe definitely has something to do with third party here. Hmm. But they don't want to rush it. Maybe they just getting out of a relationship with somebody. But they feel like you they soulmate. Hmm. You they look perfect match and soulmate. So definitely something here. What is going on? But they just I feel like they just want to take it slow. They feel like, you know, I don't know if you're pressuring them to make a decision or maybe somebody else is pressuring them. You know, they feeling a lot of pressure from some so maybe pressure from both ends for that matter. Okay. But in divine timing. But trust in divine timing that, you know, this is going to work out. So, I feel like this could be a higher level soulmate. But, let's see. Let's get one more card and see what's going on. Hmm. Oh, that's too many cards. I just need one more spirit. Let me get one more. Okay. It says casual. Yeah. So, this was definitely like something that was a situation shift. Maybe this person was just non-committal in the beginning or whatever. Um, they know that they want to be with you, but they don't want to be pressured into something. Somebody uh, maybe just leaving a connection or uh, maybe they are in a connection with someone else and don't want, you know, kind of just want to take their time and make a decision so they're not making the wrong decision because it says trying to make the right decision so they don't have any regrets. So um, I don't know about that. I don't know if I'll be waiting on this situation or what have you, but. Um, I don't feel like you should be, I don't feel like you should be waiting on this person. Mm. You know, so it says this person, you know, kind of, you know, friends with benefits. It's just a, mm. but this person is watching you, definitely watching you. So let's see, let's see what this tarot, let me see. Let's see what the tarot says. Mm. Let's get some tarot on this. Ooh, wait, this is spicy. Mm. So I feel like somebody, maybe you are, uh, maybe you are pressuring this person or uh, gave this person an ultimatum to choose you or the other person, but they don't want to feel. Uh, but they, this person is definitely in this five of cups energy. Um, you know, having this third party, they feeling like you know they that you're their two of the two of cups. They feel like you're their soulmate. But they don't want to be pressured in the decision. I feel like this uh, connection possibly started off as strictly sex. You know, a friends with benefit situation. But they do feel like that um, they are, they're really longing for you. Because they feel like you're their other half. You know, this is really breaking their heart. They feel very broken. You know. You know, they feel they're willing to fight for you. But I, I feel like they don't want to be giving an ultimatum. Or uh, it says forgiveness. I'm willing to forgive you and let go of the past. Like maybe you did something to them, or made you. Maybe they're upset because you gave them the ultimatum, or maybe they're upset because you're forcing them to make a choice or forcing them in a connection. Mm. Maybe you're forcing them to level up, and they pissed off about it. Mm. Cause they feel like it's no need to rush it, but shit, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck? You supposed to just sit around and wait and let them have their cake and eat it too? What the fuck? I mean, you know. Hmm. You know, I feel like this this person say they they trying to call you. I feel like you got them blocked. You got them blocked. You know, they, they feel like they under a lot of pressure. They want you to understand. No, you know, like what? What is there to understand? You know? Hmm. So this person is trying to message you. You know, they want to they wanna talk to you. But I feel like you got them blocked. So they want to come in and offer an apology. Or they want forgiveness. They want you to forgive. Or they want, you know, they want to talk to you or what have you. But it's like they willing to forgive you, forgive you for what? You know, they they in this pride and ego. Hmm. But they just trying to keep you uh strung along, they stringing you along. And then it says, let's be friends with benefits. 
and lead emotions out of it. No, they just trying to have their kiki and eat it too. That's just not going to work, sir or and or ma'am. <laughs> no. So they're going to come in with some type of apology, page of cups energy. Some type of romantic gesture to get you back. I feel like this person is very immature. You know what I'm saying? They in their ego. They want their cake and eat it too. They want to slow down. They just want to, you know, they just want their cake and eat it too. But this person knows that you are their two of cups. Let's see. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, this person is in, like, the devil energy is here. Let me grab this card, y'all. Hold on. <clears throat> Yeah. Oh, uh, and then we got the, um, okay. <clears throat> yeah. So we got, <laughs> we got the devil and the, uh, Hierophant, uh, in reverse. So this person is basically saying they want something that's unconventional, something that's casual. You know, this person is very, uh, toxic, basically, you know, in pride and ego, right? They want something that's unconventional. They want their cake and eat it too. They want to be out here uh, in the streets. You know, they they want to be, this person want to be in the streets. They This person for the streets. You know, they want to keep you in bondage. They want to keep you. This is about lust, sex, you know. They want to keep you in bondage. They want to keep you hanging on so you can't do what the hell you want to do while they go out and do whatever the fuck they want to do. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no. Mm -mm, no. They don't want to give you the title. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to give you the recognition you deserve. But you know what? You got new love coming. You got new love coming. You got something that's going to give you the recognition you deserve. New love, new romance. It's going to bring you joy happiness you know what i'm saying this person's all trapped up in their head all up in their emotions about uh you know you moving on but they don't want to give you what you deserve no 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 we're not gonna do that no you know they want a new beginning with you but they don't they want it to be strictly sex this person needs to grow up because you know what you want is something stable the emperor you know what you you know what I'm saying? This person is somebody who wants uh you know you want somebody with structure that's gonna give you something. You want a, a stable foundation. You know you calling in something that's got, that's gonna give you a stable foundation. You know, emperor status. This person wants to control you. Could be dealing with an Aries. Could be dealing with a um. A Taurus could be dealing with a um, Capricorn, um, could be a water sign, could be a, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, you could be calling in a fire sign. Um, could be dealing with, um, like I said, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh -uh. But this person is uh, definitely got a lot of ego a lot of pride and ego and then it's like they want you to be a a side piece or a sneaky link and you know they say they setting themselves free but at the end here they just want to be friends with benefits They say they're willing to fight for it, but it's going to be a tough beginning. You know, they need to get themselves, they need to do some shadow work first, you know. Because I don't see, you know, yeah. I see you headed towards joy and happiness, though. You know. Joy, happiness, prosperity. You looking for something that's going to give you, you know, or, you know, something going to be illuminated to you. Somebody, um, yeah. Let's see. Jealousy. Hmm. Healing. This person's jealous. So, or something's been illuminated to this person about this connection. Something's been illuminated to this person about this connection. Um, this person don't. This person um could be using other people to make you jealous. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like you've been through a lot with this person. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Nine of Wands energy. You know, I feel like it's time for you to set some healthy boundaries. I feel like this person is pissed that you set some healthy boundaries with them. Let's see. Hey, man. Or I feel like this person could be um, seeing things from a different perspective. Or you seeing this person differently. You know, you setting healthy boundaries. You seeing this person at, from a different, you letting go because you know this person is, you know, full of shit. They, you know, this person could be telling you they're going to leave or whatever. And, you know, they want to take things slow, but they still out here in this devil energy. You know, they still out here uh, setting you up for a failure, you know, being stagnant. You know what I'm saying? In this lusty energy, but the spirit is telling you six of one, six of swords, this. You know, move on. Or this person could be trying to move to calmer waters with you, but they still have to make a decision. They're going to come in, but this person, this could be a false apology. Because this person is, you know, believes in something that's very unconventional. Mm-hmm. This person is a non-conformist. They don't want to. Uh, they don't want to conform to what is traditional. And I feel like that's what you're looking for, something that's traditional. You know, something that's more stable, that that's going to give you joy and happiness. Because this person is not, you know, uh, giving you anything stable. You know, this person is slow to make you an offer. They, they were too slow to make you an offer. And they feel like this is pressure to them. You know, so they just sitting back watching, jealous of your, you know, vibrant energy. You know what I'm saying? This person can see you out here dating other people, you know, and this is pissing them off. They don't like it. They watch you and they jealous. Yeah. Yeah, it says it kills them to see that you could be with someone else. They don't like that shit at all. They watching. Mm-hmm. Watching your social media. They see, you know, it makes them happy, you know. And they said they're trying to heal the parts of them that's been avoiding you for so long. And you bring them more happiness than they could, they could ever imagine. But they know that they need to make some sacrifices to be with you, right? And, uh, you know, so they healing this dark side of them, this devil, you know. Then And they feel like they, that your love has transformed them. But um, work, it says work. It says I'm focusing on work. To have more financial stability. So maybe they feel like they're not stable enough. They said that your rejection has been a, a catalyst for their change. And it says commitment. Let's take it to the next level because nobody else matters. So this person is planning on coming towards you. But in the meantime, you're being encouraged to walk away from this connection. Until this person can offer you something more committed. This person, when they watching you on social media, they get butterflies and everything. They just, they just stalking your page. They just, they getting so jealous. This attraction, it says, um, you're so beautiful. I get butterflies when I see you. This person up there just upset. They pissed. <laughs> you know? This person just hoping and praying they get another chance. This is a true love story. Never ends. Let's start a new chapter. They want to start a new chapter, but they still... You know what I'm saying? This person just left you hanging. This person just ghosted you. Basically, he says waiting for you to return hasn't been easy, but I'm still hopeful. You know, this person could have just ghosted some of you, you know. This person talking to their friends about you. They just, you know, when you gave them this ultimatum and y'all got into this fight or whatever, they just left it, left it hanging. They didn't even come back. You know, they didn't even try to work it out or nothing. And then, you, you know. Maybe it's been some, yeah, this person's doing some shadow work. Look, shadow work. Here you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then it says they sold the soul contract. My soul recognizes there's a sacred contract to fulfill. So, yeah, this person been on and off with you, hot and cold with you, just, you know, in and out. Yeah, page of wands. Now they're ready to take this adventure with you. Mm-hmm. They're ready to discover new things. So you're going to receive a message from this person. But um, let's see what else going on. Let's see. They feel like you they true love. Let's see. Hmm. But, hmm. 
I feel like you're going to keep on moving on. Hmm. I feel like you got new love coming. I feel like you have been back and forth with this person and in and out with this person too long. I feel like it's going to be too late. You know, I feel like this person may be waited too long. But, you know, if y'all supposed to be together in divine time and work yourself out, this person got a lot of shadow work to do. Yeah. Now this person, yeah. So you was chasing this person. Now they the chaser. Yeah, I feel like you got this person blocked. And it says, I can't offer you nothing solid. So this person's wondering if they should take the risk. They don't want to be rejected either. They they're saying they can't offer you nothing solid right now. They want to offer you something. So this person keep on going back and forth with their feelings. And it says, I'm moving in silence. Things will change soon. So this person is full of shit. This person just keeping you hanging on the stream. But I feel like you know that. You know that. You know that. That's why spirit is urging you to move forward. You know, to walk away from this situation. Because this person is not. Um, you see the picture. You see the big picture. You know what I'm saying? You claim your independence. You're not waiting on this person. Because you know this person is full of shit. You know, this person wants, you know, don't want to be pressured. They feel like it's that my way or the highway type of shit, you know. They just going to keep you hanging on a string, dangling from a string. They don't want to make the wrong decision because they're not ready to commit. They're not ready to settle down. They don't want this, you know, they don't want to be restricted, you know. They want, they want a sense of freedom. And if they, you know get tied down they they gonna feel like they're not emotionally fulfilled so you know what i'm saying this person is gonna, gonna continue to break your heart so even if you go back to this person i feel like it's gonna be some third party energy here because the same thing um they're doing if they're in a connection with someone they're cheating on that person they're gonna cheat on you so i feel like you're gonna have this constant heartbreak as long if you go back to this person you know You know, so I feel like, you know, you healing through this. The three of swords as well as the um the uh star card. So I feel like you taking the time to heal heal through this heartbreak and focus on positive change. You know, this has been a difficult phase in your life, and I feel like you just don't want to keep going through the same vicious cycle. Mm, okay. Uh, this person, um, it's a lot of discord with this person. You know, it's just the same old vicious cycle over and over again. You know, it's like if you go back, you're just going to keep on deceiving yourself because you know this has happened before. You know, so I feel like you you choosing yourself. You know, restoring balance. See, five of swords. This person is just wants to win at all costs. Five of swords energy. So they're going to still do the same old thing. It's going to be a lot of chaos, conflict, competition. You know, this is a no-win situation. It's going to be an empty victory for you because this person is going to do the same thing. The same thing they're doing to the person they're with is going to be the same thing they do to you. So even if they, they're non-committal. You know what I'm saying? This person does not want to commit to anyone, not you or anyone else. They just want to have that friends with benefits. They want to have that player life. That person is for the streets. Period. Mm hmm Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, so this is you. You rebuilding your life after this heartbreak. Yeah. So let's see. Let's get one more card and we'll switch decks. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, the world card, you closing your this cycle, headed towards new beginnings, completing this, you know, and going towards something that's going to give you wish fulfillment. Ten of cups on the bottom of the deck, you know, something that's going to, yeah, give you wish fulfillment. Let's see. Let's see what this person wants to say to you. Only 24 minutes. I'm doing good. I kind of like this format better, y'all. Ooh, ooh. Look. These cards want to talk. I kind of like this format a lot better. Because I can give y'all, you know, it's a lot more of my time, but that's okay. 
I feel like um, I'm having more fun with it anyway because I can focus on one thing and I try to give y'all everything and in one day gone. Um, what's this person? What does uh, Aquarius person want to say to them? What does Aquarius person? Mm, this life doesn't feel worth living without you. They don't want to live without you, but you know they they got shadow work to do. Let's see. What else? Get a few cards. Um, it says too stupid to speak up, too sneaky to be honest. Yeah, they 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 want to contact you, but they you know when they they're not gonna be honest. You know they just gonna keep you in the same old vicious cycle. But I think you know this person long. You know I feel like you know this person enough. And it says I'm tired of being a player. I want to change for you. Yeah, they want to change, but <clears throat> let's see. Let's see what else. They know that that player energy, it says, I'm so obsessed with you. I can't stop watching you and stalking you. I tell you that I'm going to stop, but I can't. Yeah. You know they watching you. <laughs> yeah, they watching you. They jealous of shit. They watching you. There you go. Confirmation. They are watching you. It says, uh, I'm afraid of your spiritual gifts. I got my, uh, got way too many secrets. Just what the hell do you know about me? I, um, that I that you're not saying they know that you spiritually uh that you your your intuition is on ten and they know that if they you come back they know you lying they know you, you they know you know they lying you know what I'm saying they know they got a lot of secrets that's why you're gonna keep on moving forward they know they not being honest they just trying to keep you on this damn hamster wheel. Oh, wow. Okay. It says, before this is over, I will lose everything, but I will finally have true love. I will gain a new start. I will come after you and beg for forgiveness. They're going to beg for forgiveness, but hmm, I don't know. It's, it's, you know, I feel like, like I said, even if they, you know, come and make you this offer, I feel like this person is still going to be in that deceptive player energy, you know, cheating, lying, being manipulative, um, all of that. So, you know, you got free will because, again, the hierophant is in reverse. This person does not believe in that structure. It says, I don't want you to be with anyone else. Stop acting cold towards me. You know you still love me because I still love you. So, you know, what's love got to do with it when, you know, you can't have this person to yourself? You know, when you got um, the opportunity to find something new that's going to give you the stability and the recognition and happiness you deserve, why would you go back to this? So I feel like you know that, you know, you healing through this and yeah, and it says my instant uh, my instable appetite for money, power, sex, control has landed me in a tough spot and created my own karma. So yeah, this person's getting their karma. Their karma is not having you and they know it. They know they um, have lost you. You know, yeah, they and they still doing being sneaky, you know, but they breaking their own heart by not wanting to change or doing this shadow work. It's as if you don't block me things to get ugly. This person is still in this devil energy and they toxic. This person is karmic and it says, trust us with all of your heart. So the divine is asking you to trust them and move forward. Close this cycle out. They got something special for you. Um, you just, you know, and then I feel like you know it yourself. A part of my karma is contracting STD. If I could give it to you, oh, this person, I'm telling you, trying to keep you in bond. This is your girl, girl, guy. Y'all better keep on moving. Trust us with your heart. You got this gold card. They trying to tell you, keep moving. They got something bigger and better for you. This person will do anything to keep you, even um, give you an STD. This person is not ready. Mm -hmm. Please let me make it right. No. I feel like you got this person blocked and it's killing them. It says, I have so much time to think and I'm desperate to make this right. So this person want to make it right, but... Um, it says, I hurt your feelings to protect you. So this person hurt your feelings to protect you, but I don't think so. I feel like this person is full of shit. <laughs> you take it how you want to, Aquarius. Um, this person will do anything. So, I mean, lie, cheat, connive, manipulate, you know, play on your emotions. But again, this person is saying they, um, they can't offer you nothing solid. They cannot offer you nothing solid. And the divine is telling you to trust them. Trust them. I'm sick with guilt over how I treated you. They treated you horribly. You know, kept you lying and cheating. Lying and cheating. Mm-hmm. And if it's meant to be, 
Uh, look, here for a good time, not a long time. They're going to do the same old thing. This is going to be the same old vicious cycle. So, um, let's see. Let's get a couple of these cards and see what they say. I was going to use this other deck, but I don't feel like this person is ready. This person is still toxic. <laughs> Mm -hmm. to, to talk about they obsessed you know what I'm saying obsession this is, person is unhealthy I feel like this person could have this person is just damn delusional you know this person can do will do anything it says twin flames passion ignites um, this is your twin flame and if the divine time and if they're supposed to be with you it will come back together but right now the divine is saying trust us with, your, with all of your heart trust us not them, this person, trust us. And they're asking you to move on, close this cycle out, you know. It's only going to be tension. Heal through this and move on. So you got these, close this cycle out, the world as well as the um, the six of swords. Move on. And it says, this part of you is now behind you. Release it, embrace new possibilities. A new path is available for you. Follow it with faith. So yeah, trust us. And it says passion, magnetic, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it, you know. So let's see what else is on the bottom of this. It says new beginning, a new beginning, a new adventure awaits you. Embrace it and live your dreams passionate, a new beginning. So trust the divine with um, your heart because this person is not ready. So um, this is what I have for you, Aquarius. If this, is, uh, this resonated for you, go ahead and hit like, share, and subscribe. Until the next video, love and light.